Sometimes a tool doesn't look like a tool, like this. What is it, the molecular model for carbon dioxide? No, this is a tool show, not a science show. This is a very handy device. It's the magnetic screw holder. Here's how it works. You got a screwdriver. It's not magnetized. You just bought it. You're kind of disappointed because you didn't realize that. Look at that. All your friends have magnetic screwdrivers. What are you going to do? Go buy a brand new set? I don't think so. Here's the idea. You take one of these magnetic screw holders, slip it over the top of the screwdriver, place it on the screw, and watch what happens, baby. Picks it right up. Now you turn your screwdriver into Magneto Man. See, that works great. But what if you go on the road? You want to take all your screwdrivers with you. It's kind of a pain. Where are you going to put them? In your pocket? I got a better tool. This is the W6 driver. Six fully blown screwdrivers in one unit. Just pop a baby out, lock it in, you're ready to go. Put it back in and use this twisting device to dial up one of your friends. Hey, look, I want to talk to uh, Mr. Phillips. There he is. Pop him out. Lock him in. He's ready to work for you. You get sick of him, hang up. Go see uh, Mr. Flathead. Put it out, lock it in. He's ready to work. Hey, this is a great tool. It's like having all your screwdrivers on speed dial. All you got to do is reach out and touch somebody. You ever try to climb a ladder with a bunch of stuff in your hands? This is dumb. I mean, I can't grab the ladder with two hands. It's unsafe. There's got to be an easier way. And there is. It's called the big lug. Yes, I've been called that before, but I'm not talking about me. I'm talking about this, a galvanized hook that attaches to your belt, allowing me to carry all this stuff hands-free. Now with the big lug, I can carry all this stuff up a ladder, no problem. Even pack a lunch. This is the beam cutter, and it attaches the most circular saws. It replaces the blade you put on the beam cutter mechanism. Why would you use the beam cutter? Well, what if I want to cut through these two beams at once? Or some joists or trusses. This will cut up to 12 inches of wood at the same time. You couldn't do it with this ordinary circular saw. The blade's not long enough. The beam cutter has a fin on the back. The fin helps guide that saw through the material nice and evenly. It turns any saw into a beam cutting machine. Man, that was great. That turns one man into 10. These tools that I showed you here today range from 15 to $300, and they're worth it, especially this one. I want to do that again. Oh, man.